We often divide reading into three stages – pre-reading, while reading and post-reading. In this video, we're going to look at some tips for each stage and how you might use them with a typical reading lesson. For any subject, we all have different levels of background knowledge and experience. And when we read a new text on this subject, we use this knowledge and experience to help us understand the new text. This text is about collections. Almost all of your students will be aware of this hobby. Some may have relatives or friends who collect things. Some may have collections themselves. Before we read a new text, it's useful to activate this knowledge and experience. Use pictures and some simple questions. For example, what objects can you see in the pictures? Where do you think the people are from? Do you, or does anyone you know, collect anything? As students share this information, write key vocabulary on the board. We read a variety of things in our first language and always with a purpose. For example, we read a recipe for information or a magazine article for pleasure. And for each purpose, the way we read can be different. Before you start reading a text, be clear about students' purpose for reading. For example, in this task, the purpose is to quickly identify the type of text. Students don't need to read every word of the text. In contrast, the purpose of the final activity is to find detailed information. Students now need to read the text carefully to find specific words or phrases. Reading while listening to a text is useful at all levels. First, the audio of a text is an opportunity for students to hear the pronunciation features of naturally connected text. Second, listening while reading helps to develop students' fluency skills. It forces students to read without hesitating, even if they don't understand every word. It can be challenging to understand text in one reading. So instead of reading the whole text, ask students to stop after each paragraph or section. Then, in pairs or small groups, ask them to recall what they have read so far. At lower levels, students can use their first language if necessary. Needing to explain something aloud in this way is a useful way of encouraging comprehension. What's more, students will often voluntarily reread sections to each other during this exercise to justify their explanations. At the end of a reading lesson, ask students for one thing that they found interesting in the text. Give them time to think of ideas and share an example of something you found interesting. For optional homework, suggest that the students find out more about this online, purely for their own interest. Before the next lesson, look up something that you found interesting in the text and in class, briefly share what you learned. Ask if anyone else found out anything. Don't be surprised if you get a no at first. You may need to repeat this activity a few times before you get students to participate. 